Hi and welcome back. We are in Isaiah 64 and we're at the end. So we're going to push through tonight to 64, 65, and 66. What to pray about. So the other day I, I prayed about those that find themselves um, incarcerated for whatever reason. And today I want to, because of everything that's going on in the world, with all the militaries of different countries, including our own, and those that serve here at home, in uniform, police, firemen, <clears throat> any any one of them, I want to lift them up because they have chosen a life to serve and it isn't always easy. And so um, wherever they find themselves, I just want to pray for them, okay? So let's pray and then we'll jump right in. Father God, I'm thankful for another day, another day to draw closer to you, be in relationship with you. And I pray for the viewer I give you thanks for them and their, their families, their situation, their circumstance, Father God. Whatever it is, I first give you thanks for them, for the blessings on them, and then any situation that is um, an obstacle hurting them or stressing them out or just trouble. Father God, I lift it up right now. In the name of Jesus, I just pray your hand over them. Father God, I pray for those in uniform, those that have chosen to sacrifice their life and serve. I pray for their safety. I pray for their families. I pray for their well-being and their health, wherever they are, wherever their mind is. Father God, give them comfort and peace. And as always, Father God, I pray that you put our minds and hearts at a place where we can really read and understand your word. May we receive it. And I pray one day share it. We thank you for your many blessings and your sacrifice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> it's one of those nights again where I... Um, I'm a little uh, shaky just because uh, my um, blood pressure sometimes gets up, but this helps me. So let's just read, and I'm glad you joined me. Chapter 64. Oh, that you would rend, <clears throat> rend the heavens, that you would come down, that the mountain might take, I'm so sorry, that the mountains might shake at your presence as fire burns brushwood, as fire causes water to boil to make your name known to your adversaries that the nations may tremble at your presence when you did awesome things for which we did not look. You came down, the mountains shook at your presence, for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, nor has the eye seen any God besides you who acts for the one who waits for him. You meet him who rejoices and does righteousness, who remembers you in your ways. You are indeed angry, for we have sinned, in these ways, we continue and we need to be saved. But we are all like an unclean thing and all our righteousness are like filthy rags. We all fade as a leaf and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. And there is no one who calls on your name, who stirs himself up to take hold of you. For you have hidden your face from us and have consumed us because of our iniquities. Iniquities is um, like doing, doing evil, doing bad things. Um, iniquities, sin. But now, O Lord, you are our father. We are the clay and you are our potter. And all we are, the works of your hand. Do not be furious, O Lord, nor remember iniquity forever. Indeed, please look, we all, <clears throat> we all are your people. Your holy cities are a wilderness. Zion is a wilderness. Jerusalem, a desolation. Our holy and beautiful temple, where our fathers praised you, is burned up with fire, and all our pleasant things are laid waste. Will you restrain yourself because of these things, O Lord? Will you hold your peace and afflict us very severely? I, I really like the passage that he is the potter and we are the clay. I ask him to mold, mold me in his image, mold me in a way that is pleasing to him so that I live my life right. <clears throat> the righteousness of God's judgment, 65. I was sought by those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. I said, here I am. Here I am to a nation that was not called by my name. I have stretched out my hands all day long to a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good. According to their own thoughts, a people who provoke me to anger continually to my face, who sacrifice in gardens and burn incense on altars of brick, who sit among the graves and spend the night in the tombs, who eat swine's flesh and the broth of ab abominable things in their vessels, and the broth of abominable things is in their vessels, who say, keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am holier than you. 
These are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all day. That means it angers him, our sin and our ways to forget him. When we do things like, um, like that, it doesn't only hurt him, but it makes him angry too. <clears throat> Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will repay even, even repay into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, says the Lord. We have burned incense on the mountains and blasphemed me on the hills. Therefore, I will measure their former work into their bosom. Thus says the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one says, do not destroy it, for blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. I will bring forth descendants from Jacob and from Judah, an heir of my mountains. My elect shall inherit it. And my servants shall dwell there. Sharon shall be a fold of flocks. And the valley of Akor, a place for herds to lie down. I don't know if I pronounce those two right. That's how I, I understand it to read. <clears throat> for my people have sought me. But you are those who forsake the Lord, who forget my holy mountain, who prepare a table for, for Gad, and who furnish a drink offering for many. Therefore I will number you for the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not hear, but did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I do not delight. Therefore, says the Lord, <clears throat> thus says the Lord God, behold, my servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. It will never be enough. It won't quench what we really need. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry for sorrow of heart and well for grief of spirit. You shall leave your name as a curse to my chosen, for the Lord God will slay you and call his servants by another name, so that he who blesses himself on the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth, and he who swears in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hidden from my eyes. The Glorious New Creation, verse 17. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, shall not be remembered or come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I create. Amen. For behold, I create Jerusalem as a rejoicing, and her people a joy. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. The voice of weeping shall no longer be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Nor more shall an infant from their let. I'm so sorry. Verse 20. <sighs> Sorry, no more shall an infant from their life from there live but a few days, nor an old man who has not fulfilled his days, for the child shall die one hundred years old, but the sinner being one hundred years old shall be accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. So that reminds me of we um uh Oh, let me just, I just lost it. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. Their blessing, they, they will reap what they sow is what I meant to say. So whatever their hands work in, whatever the believer's hands work in, there will be, um, they will be bountiful. It will produce, it will produce fruit, um, fruits that, um, that are due to their hard work, to their, to their, to, um, well, you understand what I'm saying. You reap what you sow. Okay. And my eldest and my elect shall not... <sighs> this is really making me mad. Because I can't... <laughs> I don't want to stop recording. I want to keep reading. But it's not a good... I don't feel too too hot. Father God, forgive me. May I be in a place where I can read. Tell my spirit. Thank you. Amen. And my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain nor bring forth children for trouble, for they shall be the descendants of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox and dust shall be the serpent's food. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, says the Lord. Imagine that, that, that type of peace. Chapter 66. Thus says the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you will build me? 
And where is the place of my rest? For all those things my hand has made, and all those things exist, says the Lord. But on this one I will look. But on this one will I look, on him who is poor and of a contrite spirit, and who trembles at my word. He who kills a bull is as if he slays a man. He who sacrifices a lamb as if he breaks a dog's neck. He who offers a grain offering as if he offers swine's blood. He who burns incense as if he blesses an idol, just as they have chosen their own ways and their soul delights in their abominations. So will I choose their delusions and bring their fears on them. Because when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I do not delight. The Lord vindicates Zion. Verse 5. Hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word, you brethren who hated you. Your brethren who hated you, who cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let the Lord be glorified, that we may see your joy, but they shall be ashamed. The sound of, the no of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, the voice of the Lord, who fully repays his enemies. Before she was in labor, she gave birth. Before her pain came, she delivered a male child. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to give birth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she gave birth to her children. Shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery, says the Lord? Shall I who cause delivery shut up the womb, says your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all you who love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all, all you who mourn her, mourn for her. That you may feed and be satisfied with the consolation of her bosom. That you may drink deeply and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus says the Lord. Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then you shall feed. On her sides shall you be carried and be, dan <clears throat> and be dandled on her knees. And one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you and shall be comforted in Jerusalem. The reign and indignation of God. Verse 14. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bones shall flourish like grass. The hand of the Lord shall be known to his servants and his indignation to his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his word, by his, I'm so sorry, for by fire and by his sword, the Lord will judge all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Those who sanctify themselves and purify themselves to, to go to the gardens after an idol in the midst, eating swine's flesh at, and the abomination and the mouse, shall be consumed together, says the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall be that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. I will set a sign among them and those among them who escape. I will send to the nations, to Tarshish and Pohol and Lud, who draw the bow, and to Bol and Javan, to the coastlands, to the coastlands afar, afar off, who have not heard my my fame nor seen my glory, and they shall declare my glory. I'm so sad about that. <laughs> Those that suffer will be many. And they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. Then they shall bring all your brethren for an offspring to the Lord out of all nations on horses and the chariots and in litters on mules and on camels to my holy mountain. Jerusalem says the Lord as the children of Israel bring an offering and a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. And I will also take some of them for priests and Levites says the Lord for as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me says the Lord. So shall your descendants and your name remain, and it shall come to pass that from the new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all flesh shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the corpses of the men who have transgressed against me, for their worm does not die, and their fire is not quenched. They shall be an ab abhorrence to all flesh. Isaiah is, a, is such a strong... Um, powerful book and the messages that it delivers and the that it first spoke of Jesus and um and his judgment but what we can be happy about is it speaks of his love and his um 
redemption that he makes available to us all, his salvation, his promise, his sacrifice was for everyone and all it takes is for you to accept it, to say that you believe, that you accept him as your one and true living God and that you ask forgiveness for your sins and that you know he will return one day and that you give thanks. And I'm saying all of this because if you believe in him and you accept him into your life, those are things that you should agree with. Those are things that remain true. Wherever you are, I just pray that you take care of yourself and that there was a message today. God bless you. Bye.